15 now. The ball is in the air and they are going to hook up five years on. Sean is finding back to the ball down to Adam McKinney. Adam McKinney goes to ground in the ball. The ball is picked up the ground by Adam McKinney. Touch for the test. Captain Timmy O'Sullivan. Tim inside the 45 meter line out. Touch for the ball. Tim inside the 45 meter line out. Touch for the ball. The ball back. And the two opposite for forward lines as the ball is kicked out from Tony towards the centre of the field again. Vince Casey collects the ball, drops it out, it's not by the only other hope. I think the best attack is tied towards the 45 meter line. Cobber sending the ball to Mike Cat. Mike Cat back to Vince Cobber. Vince Cobber going forward. The referee blows the hustle. He's looking for that in the game. It's all right. It's all right. And then Tess can be able to hook up that win. Five straight. A very exciting little you know, cup final in the Vistella Stadium, but victory goes to the contestant for the third time in their history. As you can see, we have here Seamus Minan, the man that have played a big part in this the role of Dinfest winning today is in the field. Seamus, to the tough game to play in. Today, any stage you think that Dinfest wasn't going to do? Um, the two pair with the work done, and we're, I was very confident we were going to do today. Even though in the first 10 minutes, I think Croaks ended up 4 points to 1. The ball in fast. And it worked to 3 because okay. the boys were winning the ball inside now, so we were closing up the other techs because we had three midfielders covering back in our half back. Packs were kept down. At any stage, Pat, did you think that Dinfest might not do it as the Croaks had creep back into the game? I thought they would at one stage that I put in. When John went out from the middle again, I thought he did a great work out there. And a very, really low scoring game, I think it was 12-9 or 10-7 or something, but uh, like uh, every score was vital. Even. Their tactics worked today, the players kept the those tactics. That's Connie Lynch, Jimmy Shea, and Kevin Seven minors on the panel, we did a great year with the minors this year again. The, the future is very bright. I'm delighted, especially for the, the players. Definitely an awful amount of work hard, you know. Four nights a week with the last six weeks. In the past, and today that will be the more experienced team, I suppose, slight favourites going to the game. The mint from the best well. Half as far this evening will tell where the destination of the Dr. Pat Odom Hook Cup will be. The band moving towards the centre of the field, and very soon the pairs will be breaking away and taking up their positions. And now the ball is in the air, and the game is on, and Seamus Mining breaking the ball down to Devon Kelly for Dinfest, and McKinney trying to pick up the ball, sending it back towards Kevin Law Sullivan, the centre back. Kevin Law Sullivan being tackled, being fouled there by John Bain moving. Side side, 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 touch, Padre Lodu, Padre Lodu, Lucas Tolls, Padre Lodu, Padre Lodu, moving, kicks the ball in the ball. Very good point last year in the, the semi final against Connor. Paulie Dunham moving forward. A jab kick by Paulie Dunham down towards Shane Denny. Shane Denny collects the ball well ahead of his marker there, Seamus Clay. Transfer to the towards Dunham again. The field is opening up for Dunham and he's moving well, being coming forward with purpose when we see the equaliser coming. Still John Crowley. A right footy kick for John Crowley. This looks a better kick. Is it curling over? It's gone over the bar there. A great kick by John. An easy kick will bring him again some other day. Davis having a word with it. The Minters are in there three quarters of the way into the field. What do they say? Oh, they will say we'll go for the goal here. The cheer will rant all over Killarney if they sit into the back of the net. Paul standing back. Will he go for the point? Will he go for the goal? Paul moves forward. The kick. And a goal for the net. be after winning two back to back. And they have it done. It's an investment. And a score of two goals and six. Twelve points to Connor. <laughs> Well, and it looked like that they were going to do, and then the goal came for Dinfest. That's true, I think we got to go to the great stage because Conway just came in top. So, <laughs> I don't know if they put the way they do with their mind at him because Conway was going looking for a goal, and I said, let's see if we stay back in the end. That was bad. No, I don't know. It's a great stage. Went for the goal, went for the ball, and I think he did the right. How did you make up your mind what you were going to do? Well, as you know, if it was a different place, I'd probably win, I'd win for a goal because I don't think you'll get a better chance to win a game than a penalty in the last kick of the game, right? Um, thanks, Billy Goss. All the, all the things about the country, I know everything's been gone. It's such a new day, it's a good way in that lot. And as well as that, I'd like to congratulate.